It was last February when Odai Ramadan took a wrong turn. The 15-year-old schoolboy found himself caught up in a demonstration against the Israeli army as he took a shortcut home. He was shot in the head in a coma for two months. The bullet fired by the Israeli soldier remains embedded in his skull. There was tear gas and sound grenades, but I wanted to go home. That was the only way. Otherwise, I would have had to take a much longer route. I passed through and got shot. This is where Odai was shot, along the wall in Bethlehem that separates the two communities. It's a frequent flashpoint. The UN report says there's been a significant increase in the number of Palestinians killed and wounded in the West Bank. And the report says this is due to the use of excessive force by the Israeli military. The all too regular violent confrontations between young Palestinians and the well-armed Israeli forces accounted for most of the deaths. 22 this year alone and nearly 3,000 injured. The Human Rights Report says acts of violence by Israeli settlers in the West Bank continues to be carried out against Palestinians. The valuable olive crop was targeted, with more than 3,500 trees destroyed or damaged. 98 Palestinians were injured in skirmishes. More than 40 Israelis were hurt, with one Israeli settler killed. And at the roadblocks and the checkpoints along the West Bank and Gaza, the restrictions on the freedom of movement of Palestinians, says the report, continues to pose a major human rights concern. Odai's prognosis is not encouraging. He suffered major brain damage in the shooting and remains unable to walk. His parents are gone and the grandparents know they won't be with him forever. May God have mercy on him so he can at least walk again. His grandfather and I won't live forever. He's just 16. What kind of future will await him? Grandson and grandparents sharing a tragedy that spans the generations on the West Bank. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem.